Hello guys and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. In this one we're going to be talking about just some, uh, I suppose some cool new features added by 1.3. Apologies for the uh, the spazzy camera movements by the way, I'm uh, <laughs> my my camera studio mod thing hasn't been updated yet so still waiting on it. So um, we're going to be covering two things in this, well two main things I suppose, uh, boats and carts. And uh, the boats have been kind of requested for a while, I did a dock tutorial a while ago and never covered boats so I, I got a bit of stick for that but that's okay. Um, and then carts, I, I got a couple of requests over the last couple of months for just adding in some little oddities. So I'll I'll go over these two and I'll also talk about some new features added by 1.3 and how you can use them for building. So um, yeah, let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so let's start off with the boat. Basically, if I uh, if we take this level to be the surface of the water, so you know, imagine I'm standing on it right now. Um, basically, what we're going to want to do is have a gap of at least three blocks beneath the water. Um, preferably a bit more, <laughs> but basically this is going to be the very bottom of the boat and um, this is going to be the very back as well, so it's handy for tight spaces. And um, basically for the first part you're just going to make a pillar 5 high, I'm using spruce logs and spruce planks in this case, um, just because they look quite nice. I should mention the texture pack is John Smith because I consistently get about 5 or 6 comments every video, even though it's always in the description, but you know, never mind, <laughs> a bit of a rant. So okay. Yeah, basically, uh, so that's the kind of rudder, so that's going to be the structure to start off with. So you can see I've built this little kind of T structure. Basically, you come out by one plank, and then, um, yeah, just build this sort of T shape. And then on each of the arms, we're going to come out five blocks, and this is using one of the new features of 1.3, which is uh, being able to place logs sideways. Um, basically, if you're not used to them yet, they basically they work kind of like pistons. It's kind of the direction you're facing, but sort of... <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've come out five blocks, so we're going to do the same up here, and here too. And we're just going to cap these off with more planks. Um, next up, what we want to do is basically come up diagonally, like so. And then we're going to build six planks in this direction, so towards the back of the boat. Um, and I'm also just going to cap those off with planks, just so they have a nice finish. Okay, at the front, we're basically going to come out by three planks on the inside, as you can see I'm doing here. Um, so, pretty much like so. And then we're just going to cap those off again. Then for the very front, we're going to come out by another three planks, sorry, three logs, and another three on top of that. So you can kind of see the arrangement there. So at the back of the boat here, what we're going to do is basically take some planks, put them on either side, and then fill in the center with stairs. And this creates quite a nice effect. And now we're going to use one of the new features of 1.3, which is basically the placement of stairs is quite different. So it does take a lot of getting used to, believe me, but uh, you get around to it eventually. Basically, we're going to want to place upside down stairs all along each side, like so, um, and come up to that little plank there. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we're basically, wherever you can see a plank on this level, we're just going to bring it up by one more. So it should be six total. Um, and then what we're going to want to do is come along the outside and place stairs. But because of the new placement of uh, of stair blocks, you can actually place them upside down without having to build something above it, if you know what I mean. Well, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, so it's quite different from what you might be used to, but it turns out quite well. So basically you want to leave the outside face of this block uncovered, as in don't put a stair block there. But for this one, you're going to want to put a stair block there. Um, and do the same facing this way. And rain seems to have started, but I've got up to fine now, yay! <laughs> so there's no rain, there's just little particles. Let's turn that off. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is fill in the back. Well, as you can see, I've actually I've done the exact same on the other side. Um, so yeah, sorry, oh, that should not be there. What we're going to want to do is basically start filling in the back. So the way we can do this is, basically, if you build a sort of... I don't know what way to what way would be best to describe the pattern. Sort of like eight blocks like this, <laughs> kind of a upside down A shape, sort of maybe, kind of not really, but you know close enough. Um, then on the inside between these two sort of little posts, we're gonna put three stairs like so. Then basically we're gonna wanna oops, we're gonna wanna wrap around the uh, the back of the main rudder like so. Then for the uh, for the actual cabin, what we're going to do is bring it out with some more upside down stairs, um, like so. So basically just surround it with upside down stairs. So yeah, 
That's about it. We're also going to want to fill in the rest of the place with some decking. And the way I like to do this, which is up to you, you can vary it as much as you want, is um, basically I like to use half slabs just so it maintains a sort of curve on the inside. Um, and in addition, what you can do is that you can actually place a trap door here instead and a chest underneath uh, for kind of like a secret little stowaway compartment. Um, I'm also going to place down basically where the uh, the mast is going to go. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of see where it is there. It's sort of the center of this central part, sort of, kind of, not really. Anyway, for the back, what we're going to do is build some walls. So basically, these are going to be too high. Um, and in a pattern like so, I'm basically just going to fill in these sort of little gap things with... Um, with some thingies, planks, that's what they're called. <laughs> um, and then coming down along the sides, I'm also gonna place some more half slabs and planks just so that it kind of, I suppose there's more of a gradual curve to it. For the top of the back, basically what we're gonna do is place some, um, some whatchamacallit, <laughs> half slabs and stairs in a pattern like this. So basically just half slabs all around, but with a stair at the back. Um, as we're going to fill this in later. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the front. So just as a side note, in case you're wondering why I'm not using upside down stairs, it's because they still screw with water. Um, stair blocks and half slabs do, so it's worth just placing full blocks for the parts that are going to be underneath the water because otherwise it just messes the whole thing up around. It looks kind of crappy. Um, so yeah, anyway, the front. Uh, cap these off with some planks and then we're basically going to use some half slabs. So come out upside down with two and then with the uh, the top one if you know what I mean you can see what I'm doing here um, by three or four depending on your preference and um, this just kind of gives a I suppose a much more gradual slope to it I'm just gonna leave it at three so yeah that's about it for that phase so for the roof of this little cabin I'm gonna use wool in this case although you can use a um, just an ordinary wooden steep roof with stairs it actually does look quite good um, and I had originally done that with this ship design, but uh, I actually lost the footage, so great. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, I'm just going to add in some little fence posts for support like so. Um, and obviously the wool can be whatever you want it to be. I've just done kind of light grey and black. Don't know why, just thought it would look nice. Um, yeah, let's do the mast. So basically, from the bottom, we're going to come up nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, you can use whatever type of wood you like. Um, I'm still using spruce in this case just to keep it uniform, but you know, mix and match to your, uh, your heart's content. And then on top of those nine blocks, basically what we're going to do is place some sideways blocks. Um, so two out in each direction, so it's going to be kind of five wide total. For the actual sail, what we're going to do is add some rigging underneath, as well as on the front, and basically just a line of wool will do because you see a lot of people and they do the whole uh you know they have like a ship pulled up at a dock but then they build like a huge sail as if it's kind of unfurled which to be honest doesn't really make any sense because it's, it's, you know your ship is stationary you don't need the sails they're always tied up um so yeah just a single line is perfectly fine that's a rhyme up at the front we're going to add in some more fence posts so uh bring this up three blocks no, yeah, three blocks, sorry. Um, and basically, we can do the same here. Doesn't really matter too much about the placement. I'm actually just going to place one central one, I think. Um, and basically what we're going to want to do is place uh, wool across the top like so. We're going to place some more fence posts in the sort of corners. And then on top of those, we're going to place some more wool. Um, and basically this is going to be our, our stripey, stripey wool which we're going to be able to use to uh, create this sort of little shelter type place. Um, and the idea is this is just kind of like a, a sort of cover when the ship is, is stationary for people to hide from the rain or whatever they want to do. We can add a little more detail into the front. Um, I'm just going to add in some stairs here to cap off that wooden log because I don't really like them like that. Um, and alternatively, there's a lot of places you can place stairs instead. So, you know, maybe place them there. Instead of putting full planks here, we can maybe do stairs as well. Um, although I do kind of like the effect of having the full planks. So again, 
completely up to you. So for detailing this is completely up to you. What I like to do is add in a couple of fence posts to simulate a kind of rudder. Um, so you know the idea is you, you turn it this way and then the ship goes right and then you turn it this way and the ship goes left. So you know quite, quite a I suppose, realistic feature and it's actually on top of the log so it doesn't really make sense where it is. Um, so yeah we can add a uh, redstone lamp maybe to the center, sorry to the mast, um, just because I don't like the idea of an open flame on a ship. Although, as I said, completely up to you. Um, it really depends what kind of ship you're trying to make. If it's going to be a transport ship, you can maybe add in some, uh, maybe a small gate just by the edge. So, pretty much like so. And, you know, you could have like a little gangplank and have, I suppose, easier access for people to get on and off. Um, and, yeah, aside from that, you can, as I said earlier, put in maybe a little smuggler's hatch uh, down below. So, let's stick it here. We'll put in a put in a double chest just to show that it works um, because these are these are only half slabs so they don't block chests so a little trap door there and plenty of storage um, so yeah that's about it there's a few things you can do for variation like over here I've made a, a slightly smaller kind of a alcove type area um, I've also shortened the front just to give it a, a much more stout kind of look um, well I won't say much more like there's that and then there's that which is slightly longer um but you know not a, not a huge uh not a huge stretch you can see in this one i have basically altered the uh the design of the front again so that it's a much kind of more compact one or cozy as a real estate agent would say uh, we've also added this big wide gate at the front just to uh you know this would be kind of a definitely a transport ship type thing and the thing is you could actually get on and off a boat uh directly to your ship which is quite nice so yeah, look, I'm on the ship. It's great. <laughs> yeah, one of the other details is just basically um, on top of the mast, we've made these this cross beam be planks instead. And it also, it doesn't join directly onto the mast, if you know what I mean. You can kind of see the sails are slightly differently set up. Um, in addition, there's like this little weird pole thing, maybe for a flag. Um, and at the back, we've slightly varied the, the design in, in bringing it down and having a much more kind of gradual curve. But, again, the rest is up to you. Um, I really like it when people put their own little stamp on kind of someone else's design, so I think that's, that's always a, it's a good thing to strive for. To, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's move on to an ox cart. <laughs> okay, so for the cart, I'm not going to lie, it's a very simple design. Um, basically, if you just take some logs of whatever variety you like, and in this case I'm using jungle logs from, uh, from John Smith, uh, basically, we're just going to place buttons on the outside of those, just to act like a little kind of, I suppose, detail to the axle. Um, I'm also going to place an upside down plank in the middle. Again, whatever planks your texture pack, you know, is most appealing to you. Uh, in this version of John Smith, it's slightly customized, so I can't really, uh, can't really promote it too much. Um, but yeah, basically, so this will be the kind of the wheelbase, um, and depending on which way you want to face. So, if we call this where I've placed this fence gate, that's going to be the front. So, um, yeah, basically we're just placing stairs along the edge, like so. Um, so bring out one block at the front and two blocks at the back. Ooh, new stair placement, still not used to it. Um, and then we're just going to fill in the center with slabs, like so. So that's kind of the, the base of the actual cart. Then for the, the tethers, which the, uh, the cows are going to be tied to, basically just place fence posts like so um sorry not fence posts fence gates um so yeah pretty much like so um the reason i'm using fence gates is because they don't quite touch the ground if you can see but they touch the block on top of them so it that's yeah, quite a nice effect um I'm, oops, sorry made a mistake there <laughs> so yeah and basically we're just going to add in a little detail which is just going to be a little bench at the front for the Drover, driver, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so he's going to be there. Um, and yeah, basically, again, use whatever planks you think look best in the combination of whatever texture pack you're using. For the actual cows, they're going to go in here. You can lure them in on survival. It is doable. Um, and I have done it in the past, but I'm not going to do it in a tutorial because it would just take way too long. So yeah, have fun with that if you're doing it on survival. <laughs> so basically you can just spawn a cow in the middle and then nudge him over slightly 
that goes into one of the halves or she I suppose it would be a she they've got others others and um, so yeah now that he's nudged over there she he she we can spawn a second cow and they'll just basically pop in there and just get him to look this way with some wheat look look no okay they don't like wheat but um yeah that's basically it very small compact design um it's not the nicest looking i'll be the first to admit that but the thing is it's it's tricky to do small stuff in Minecraft, <laughs> but yeah, basically it's um, it's very kind of rough and ready, but again, if you want to do something very small that looks like it is being pulled by animals, uh, something like this or this is probably your best solution, because um, it's quite hard to get stuff that looks really good. Um, obviously, you can vary this design, you know, kind of find new ways to place fence gates that don't look quite so imposing, but... Uh, yeah, that's about it for the cart, really. So yeah, one of the cooler new features of 1.3 is the addition of tripwires, uh, tripwire hooks. And basically the way these work is you set up two of these little hooks, which are fairly easily craftable, and then you attach string to them. Um, and basically once there's two tripwires connected by a string, it, uh, it all kind of joins together. Um, but one of the kind of cool features you can use this for is creating, um, I suppose, the effect of like washing lines and, you know, just random bits of rope that you're going to have string, strung up between your uh, your streets. Now, unfortunately, the visibility is pretty poor. I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to make this out in the video, but you can see I've got a few trip wires just strung up here for demonstration purposes. And um, obviously these walls are pretty straight, so it's not going to look the greatest, but if you could find a way to uh, to hide these tripwires or just disguise them into the scenery around them, um, having a few random ropes crossing your streets could be a really nice kind of addition. So one of the other cool new features is the addition of the ability to plant cocoa beans. And the thing is, these actually look quite a lot like just random fruit, especially when you first plant them, because um, they have this kind of weird sort of different texture on them. Um, so you can really use them to spice up your, uh, you know, your, your green areas or... You know, you could even make fairly creative looking farms out of them. So yeah, that's about it for the actual 1.3, I suppose, new additions and the, the new abilities. Um, but just before I go, I'd like to give a few brief announcements if you guys will stick with me. Otherwise, you know, it's cool. Move on to the next tutorial or video or whatever I decide to make next. Um, yeah, basically, I'd just like to give a very personal and wholehearted shout out and thanks to Smexarn, Dragon Spun, Taylor Wood, uh, Lord Umbrella, Clower, Tech Six Two Eight, and uh, Kumakon Four because they have all been just doing an astounding job on the uh, the one point three server so far. Um, I'm in one of these buildings here. It's a church, but I really don't want to show off too much because there's more trailers on the way. Um, so I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Um, in addition, uh, I'd like you guys to let me know because I've made a couple more episodes of Tech It, but I didn't want to release them without releasing more tutorials in case people thought I was going away from those. I'm not, but uh, you know, life's been hectic at the moment, so apologies for not getting any more content out to you guys sooner because I, I know you guys have been waiting on tutorials. Um, so, yeah, apologies for that. Um, yeah, aside from that, there's, uh, there's not much left to say. So, um, yeah, thanks again for to everyone for watching and subscribing and all that i actually recently hit 2000 subs haven't done anything for it yet but something epic is on the way so you know stay tuned <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys and uh see ya oh and i totally almost forgot and um, i've just launched a new podcast series um which is basically me talking to random people from youtube and minecraft in general and um, the series is called mind chat but that won't turn up for some reason if you search for it. So if you just search for Mr. Archer MC on iTunes, um, you'll see the uh, the first episode is up. And Fusion Productions vid, who most of you guys know, has um, yeah, he's kindly agreed to do the first episode. So that's out now on iTunes. Um, yeah, it's basically the whole idea behind the series is sit down and just chat to people about Minecraft, about life in general, and um, you know, just kind of connect people and uh, you know. I suppose, well, that's yeah, the whole general idea behind it. So huge thanks to Fusion Productions for basically helping out with that and, well, actually agreeing to sit down and be interviewed slash chatted to by me. So um, that's out now on iTunes, guys. It's f completely free. So uh, 
be awesome if you guys could download that. Um, let me know what you think as well. Um, as always, feedback and stuff, YouTube page, email, or uh, you can use the forums, which are linked down below. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully thanks for listening. Bye, guys.